Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Inbox rules allow you to control how your incoming emails are handled by Outlook on the web. An inbox rule simply states that whenever an item arrives into your mailbox that meets specified criteria, it should then be processed by whatever the rule dictates. You can have multiple rules applied to your inbox. The rules will be acted upon in sequence from top to bottom through the list of rules created. They can also be modified at a later date or deleted if they no longer apply. You can also turn them off and on without having to delete and recreate them. To create an inbox rule, you can click the Settings icon and choose Mail to open the Options pane. Then under Automatic Processing, click Inbox and Sweep Rules. Alternatively, you can right-click a message in the Inbox pane and choose Create Rule, or click the More dots above the Reading pane and select Create Rule. Utilizing these two options will open the new Inbox Rule page directly. To start a new rule from the Options menu, click the plus sign under Inbox Rules to open the new Inbox Rule page. The first option is to name the rule. Enter the name of the rule in the field labeled Name. The next step is to create the first condition for an incoming email to match to trigger a specific action. This will set the condition for when the message arrives and it matches all of these conditions. There are eight options available in the drop-down list to select. You can add multiple conditions to an email by clicking the Add Condition button. Select a new condition to match in the new drop-down list, or click the X to delete an additional condition. After you have set the condition the email must match, you want to select what action will be taken for that message. The options for the actions that can be taken are listed in the Do All of the Following drop-down list. After you have set the action to be taken when a condition is met for an incoming email, you can add an exception to the rule if necessary. Click the Add Exception button to open a drop-down list of conditions to set an exception. This is helpful if you have to set a condition for a specific sender but want to occasionally make exceptions. For example, this would be helpful if you have group messages from your boss set to be filed in a specific folder. You can then set an exception to have it stay in the inbox folder if your name is mentioned specifically in the body of the email. The Except if it matches any of these conditions drop-down list contains the same choices as the When the message arrives and it matches all of these conditions drop-down list. The only exception being Apply to all messages. The last option to select when creating an inbox rule is the Stop processing more rules checkbox. This checkbox is checked by default and is used when an email is received that meets the criteria for more than one rule. Since the rules are processed in order from top to bottom, the first rule that has matching criteria will be applied. Click OK to save your new inbox rule or click Cancel to return to the Options menu. You can select a rule and then click the pencil icon to edit the rule. The same creation pane will open. You can select a rule and click the trash can icon to delete a rule. You can use the up or down arrow to move the rule up or down the list. You will use these icons on the inbox rules page to set the rules list to the order that works best for you. To turn a rule on or off, you can simply check the checkbox next to the rule on the Inbox Rules page under Options in the Settings icon. A rule with a checked checkbox is considered on. When you have completed the selections for your Inbox Rule, click Save to save the rule and any changes and close the menu page. Click Discard to discard any changes if there were any changes made. Click Options to be returned to the main page of the Mail app. Note that you may need to click the Settings icon again to close that menu list. New for 2016 are Sweep Rules. These are simple actions that can be used to manage emails you receive from specific senders. You can use these rules to manage your newsletters, digital coupons, or any email you receive on a regular basis. 
To apply a sweep rule to a message, you can first select the message, then click Sweep in the list of commands above the inbox pane. A pop-up pane will appear with the four basic sweep rules available. Choose Delete All Messages in the Inbox folder to perform that action, or click the drop-down and choose Archive if you have archiving set up. You can choose Delete All Messages from the Inbox folder and any future messages to prevent any further messages from appearing in your Inbox folder from that sender. And again, you can choose Delete or Archive in any of these options if archiving has been turned on. You can choose Always Keep the Latest Message and Delete or Archive the Rest. This will only save the most current email from a sender. And the final option is Always Delete or Archive Messages Older Than 10 Days. This will delete any messages outside the 10-day limit. When you have chosen a rule, you can then click Sweep to perform the action. A pop-up will appear confirming you created a new rule. You can click View Rules to display the Sweep Rules list in the Options window, or simply click OK to return to Outlook on the web. To view the sweep rules you have applied, you can click the View Rules link in the Sweep pop-up pane, or you can click the Settings icon and choose Mail, and then under Automatic Processing, choose Inbox and Sweep Rules. The sweep rules will be displayed under the Inbox Rules list. The rule and its associated conditions will be displayed. You can turn a sweep rule on or off by checking or unchecking the checkbox next to the rule. To delete a sweep rule, select the rule from the sweep rules list in the options window and click the trash can icon. The rule will be automatically deleted with no confirmation. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.